I'm so happy to be here with all of you this morning. It is so wonderful to be with my buddy, Bill Ivey. We, uh, we fought many a fight together, uh, and this is true. They don't call me slaughter for nothing. It's, uh, <laughs> and, of course, I want to say a special welcome to New York City, Westchester County, and Poughkeepsie from my home state and from Lexington, Kentucky, the state of my birth. Uh, it was no end of trouble getting elected in New York with this accent. Um, <laughs> This is wonderful. Uh, I'm gonna, Randy, I'm going to study this index. I could see I have a lot of homework I have to do. There were a lot of ups and downs in there. I want from now on for it only to go up, if we could try to do that. Um, I'll talk to you a little bit about, about what I do. And, uh, uh, but first, I want to say what a wonderful milestone, 50 years, Americans for the Arts. I don't think many people in the United States understand what this incredible organization has done to better their lives and the lives of their children. It has been a joy every day knowing Bob Lynch and Nina Oslo. I've never seen people work as hard as they do. And I'm delighted about the Kresge grant. Isn't that a wonderful thing as well? Uh, Bob's done such a good job with that. But just working with them, we went through some pretty rough times. And uh, uh, being partners with them has made it uh, all worthwhile. My job is to keep the National Endowment for the Arts alive. Uh, that may sound simple. Uh, no, people will say, why in the world would anybody go after the National Endowment for the Arts? But I need to tell you that scores of members of Congress were elected simply to come to kill the Endowment for the Arts. We have gone through times when we were considered to be evil and decadent and frivolous, or maybe all three, uh, to understanding now, thanks to I think the participation of the Conference of Mayors and of county legislatures and county governments, that how important it was and what art had done to them economically. And for that, for all of that information, we thank Americans for the Arts. Americans for the Arts has done all the studies to show us the economic benefits. Art need not apologize to anyone. It more than pays its way. And I'd like to just spend the few minutes that I have here today to give you a few examples of, of that, if I may. Uh, we were so delighted, of course, Westinghouse joined us a few years back, too, and said that they would much prefer hiring young people who had had a musical background because they understood computers, keyboard, and much better. Keyboard had a uh, connection with uh, computers. Modern dance and mathematics. We did not understand these things until the University of California Davis told us all about them. But the Americans for the Arts took all that information plus the economic benefits, which were astonishing. I mean, we don't get back into the federal government the kind of return on the money we spend for the arts in any other way. It is just we should be spending so much more because of the benefits that it brings us, not just economic but what it does to the children. I'm just going to give you two examples on that this morning. One was a young man who was from Rochester. Uh, every year we have an arts competition, uh, painting, and in all the high schools. And his painting was chosen to hang in the rotunda at the Capitol. And uh, he disappeared, and we couldn't find him anywhere. And my wonderful staff just wouldn't let go. They hunted up the school, went to every place, all his friends, and found him and determined that he would come to Washington. He had dropped out of school. Uh, to be here to see himself honored and hung in the capital of the United States. Um, they picked him up to bring him down, just have him take him to the airport to send him to Washington. He was sitting in a gutter, had his feet in the gutter, sitting on the sidewalk. Very dispirited, 17-year-old um, failure in his own mind. And although we never talked about this, I will tell you that after his trip to Washington, the next time I saw him, I was with uh, some people on the arts at a public television station in Rochester, and then he walked, a sophomore at Pratt Institute. Now, if you think that's not worth the money we put in for that young man, uh, the same thing that I saw at the, at the uh, Young Dancers at Harlem, at the Harlem Dance School, little children four and five years old, learning discipline, so proud of themselves, dressed in those leotards, dancing and prancing all around and uh, knowing that what they were learning, that they had a skill, they were proud of themselves. Art gives so much to so many people.
For those who are young enough to participate in it, as I used to be, I was a blues singer. It was the only ambition I ever had. Congress would not have enticed me at all if I could have really made it to the big time. <laughs> but I was born in eastern Kentucky and understood the benefits of what I was able to have come into my hands to read and to understand and, and to really open up that world to me. And I've been determined ever since that we would do that for all the children in this country. But to add to that, to add to just what we do to human beings and the human spirit, and heaven knows being humanized is important for us, uh, that in addition to that, the economic benefits that every community realizes from its arts programs, when they, we really make that known, we see what a priceless, what an incredibly wonderful thing it brings us together, and I'll challenge anybody in the world to go through a whole verse and chorus of Amazing Grace without crying just a little bit. And it makes us better than it tells us who we are. And the arts that we see tells us who we were. And the art that will come will tell us who we hope to be. It's worth anything that any of us can give to leave that legacy behind. And I'm so proud of Americans for the Arts for the incredible work that they do here. You could never thank them enough. Through good times and bad times, they have been stalwart and as straightforward in getting this done because, I mean, even when people were willing to fight, as I point out, I will, we understood what we were about and how important it was to America to understand who America's, Americans are and what we want future Americans to be. Thank you for letting me have a few minutes of your time. Uh, thank you for all the work that you do. And for heaven's sakes, whatever we do, let's never, never let the arts take a second seat to anything else in the country. It's earned its way. Thank you very much.